this will be the last uh, lecture of the series on the longitudinal stability derivatives and also the last lecture on the de derivation of both lateral directional and longitudinal stability derivatives so it's uh, it has been a very long sequence of lectures on the derivation and uh, i appreciate that it's very tough and uh, thanks you all for following me okay so the last two derivatives are cmq pitch moment change due to the pitch rate q and the cm w dot that's a pitch moment due to vertical velocity acceleration now let's see how can we derive cmq the pitch moment change due to the pitch rate q and actually we've done the um, czq which is uh, vertical force change due to the pitch rate and and the vertical force z is actually the induced lift force on the elevator and we've derived that lt and so you can go back to lecture 5 1 and you will see the you will see the um, derivation and also you will see such a sketch the side view of this aircraft okay and since we're looking at the induced pitching moment change and the pitching moment is actually lt times the uh, moment arm so the lift force acting on the elevator times the moment arm lt so we have the moment can be calculated as minus large lt times small lt and now the question is why we get a negative sign this is because the lift force the the moment from the lift force is pointing to the left wing so it is a negative in direction that's why we have a negative sign remember so we just uh, use lt the expression times small lt and it's kind of a complicated expression for m okay so we keep it there and since we are doing the derivation so we need to calculate partial m partial q and then the q is eliminated from m okay and uh, since we're looking at the uh, parameter non-dimensional parameter cmq so we just find the denominator and then we have minus at and the at i assume we everybody knows it and it is uh, lift coefficient slope for the elevator aerofoil and then we just recombine it and the highlight portion can be uh, re uh, defined as the elevator volume so cmq can be uh, written in a more concise form minus at times vt that's the elevator volume and we have already derived the or defined the um, thin volume now it's the elevator volume and times lt over c that's a ratio between the um, elevator moment arm divided by the uh, mean aerodynamic chord okay so now let's do a bit discussion we've derived czq and it's one as one step previous uh, before cmq so it has minus vt times at so the, the difference is lt over c the ratio and usually lt over c is uh, between four and five so cmq is much larger than czq so it's more sensitive so there is if there is a pitching pitching rate and see the moment change is more sensitive than the vertical force so this is for the cmq and we've derived it and it also did some comparison with czq now let's look at the last derivative cm w dot or we can uh, take it as cm alpha dot the pitching moment change due to the vertical velocity acceleration why we can replace w dot by alpha dot we've described that in the previous lecture lecture 252 uh, okay so in the, also in the previous lecture we have um, czw dot derived and it's minus at times uh, elevator volume or tail volume times the um, partial epsilon partial alpha partial epsilon partial alpha is a downward angle change rate with the angle of attack change okay so we've 
done this derivation okay and so let's see how can we relate the uh, czw dot with cmw dot similar as the previous uh, derivative because pitching moment is uh, is a product of uh, the lift force on the elevator times the moment arm of of the elevator okay so then we have m alpha dot equals z of dot times lt that's a moment arm and then since we are looking at the uh, derivative non-dimensional derivative we just find a denominator it's the same as the previous one okay so and we, we, we are now replacing m alpha dot by z alpha dot times lt okay and the next step is we get c z alpha dot times lt divided by c and we just plug in c z alpha dot we eventually have this uh, uh, equation okay so now the derivation is quite straightforward because we we've already done the major work in the czw dot okay and then we can just have this conclusion and if again we compare cm alpha dot with czf dot the difference is uh, lt divided by c